Well, hello again, my friends. <laughs> Welcome to Corny Creek Farms. Yes, once again, we're going to be drawing some cartoons together here on Corny Creek Farms. All right. I hope you're having a great day so far, and I hope you're ready to roll. We're going to do some fun drawings. It's going to be another mashup day. Special effects, special effects. <laughs> I'm all excited again here. You could call it Wacky Character Day too, because we're gonna draw something wacky. If you'll remember the last time we were together, we drew, do you remember? It was a horse fly. <laughs> do you remember that? I sure do. I had fun coloring my horse fly. <laughs> horse fly and we're gonna do another one today can you guess what it is <laughs> of course you can't I haven't told you any clues one clue is baseball oh yeah it's baseball season we're getting to see some baseball that's fun and what would you combine with a baseball hmm it's an animal and something you use in the game of baseball do you know what it is? Take a guess. That's right, it's a baseball bat. <laughs> a baseball bat, the kind of animal, not the one that you use to hit the ball. But we're gonna combine a baseball and the animal bat together for a fun mashup. You got your pencil? All right, let's get ready to roll here. We're gonna start with our simple shapes. A baseball is a circle so go ahead and draw a circle shape and it doesn't have to be a perfect circle don't worry about that that's not a perfect circle it doesn't matter and then to make it look like a baseball we're gonna put these seams on it and the seams are just two curved lines look one like that and one like that okay so there's our baseball and remember I draw lightly because I'm going to be inking over or tracing over my pencil lines so because later then after I ink it or trace it, I use my eraser and I erase my pencil lines. OK, so that's why I'm drawing fairly light. Now I got to put the seams on the baseball and these are just like letter V's. You see that They look like a letter V. So just go all the way down your little curved line and put the little stitches on there. Can you imagine having to stitch these? Uh, covers on the ball by hand. I'll bet you they don't do it by hand, but maybe they do. I don't know how a machine, you can't put a baseball through a sewing machine, can you? <laughs> I, I don't think so. So maybe they do hand sew them. And maybe that's something you need to look up. <laughs> okay, so there's our baseball. That's the body of the bat. Now let's give our bat a big head. That's going to be based on an oval shape. So I get my pencil going in my oval shape and I start to press down a little bit and I get the head shape of my bat. All right, two big eyeballs. One, just kind of oval shapes, right? They don't have to even be the same shape. Oval shapes for eyeballs, little circles for pupils and a goofy smile let's make it not straight across like a curved line perfectly let's do this wavy a wavy smile makes them look goofy and then give them some sharp front goofy teeth all right and bats have big ears right and that's basically like a triangle shape so off to the side here one just go and I gave it a slightly curved line effect, but it's a triangle like that. If I connected those, I would have a, tri a triangle. So on this side, same thing, kind of a curved line, long, come down back this way and back towards the head. And that would be, if they met, that would be a triangle, right? One ear is bigger than the other. Is that okay? Sure, it's okay. Does it matter? No, it's actually kind of funny. 
<laughs> we'll do the inside of the ear. And maybe we give him a, some fluffy hair there on top. Okay, now he's got the, he's got a funny little head. He's got his triangle ears, a baseball body. Let's put the little feet on it. They're kind of like triangles. Just, just come down with slightly curved lines, almost like the shape of our teeth up here, but give them toes. Oh, just his feet hanging down as he's flying. Ooh, flying. What do we need? Wings. The baseball bat needs wings. Okay, so this is just going to be a series of curved lines. The wings are out to the side. Okay, so watch. Put your pencil here on the baseball, and we're going to go out here with a curved line. Curved line. From here over to here, another curved line. Curved line. And then on the bottom, three curved lines. Watch this. One, two, three, back to the body. How about that? Same thing over here. Out to the side. Start here, curve it towards the body this time. And then three upside down letter U's. One, two, three, see that? And then they've got these little, I don't know if they're made of bone, maybe cartilage, I don't know. But it helps the structure of the wing so that they can use it, it becomes, becomes almost solid, like a solid wing, even though they fold up against their body. This is kind of like, uh, I don't know, it's kind of skin type stuff, fuzzy skin, and then some structure that holds it all together. I'm not a scientist, as you can tell. I'm putting a baseball with a bat. <laughs> kind of like Dr. Frankenstein, right? Mixing up two different things. All right, let's give it a, let's give it a, um, some ground on the bottom so that we know he's flying. And maybe up here in the corner, we could do, do a curved line like this and make it kind of a moon. He's flying at night, right? And you could put motion lines outside of the wings. Just curved lines to indicate that those wings are in motion. Look at that, the baseball bat. Let's get inking now. All right. Okay, let's see, I'm just checking my camera here to make sure we can see the whole thing. I guess we can, all right. Here. There we go. Okay. There's his little tuft of hair. I don't know if they have those in real life. Certainly not combed like that. <laughs> Ear. Oops, I went too far. Okay, bring it down here. Back to the head. And around we go. And then thicken it up down here at the bottom just a little bit. You know, we thicken that line up just by going over it again. All right. And let's see here. Turn, wow, I'm really turning the paper today, huh? Okay, there he is. Let's do his eyeballs. Two weird, odd-shaped eyeballs. Okay, the pupils, circles, leave that little white dot 
up there for the glare or the glint or the reflection from the light. Remember, it gives our characters a little more life. Okay, wiggly smile line. And funny teeth. Just two little, I'll round them off and make them friendlier looking, right? Maybe some eyebrows up here. Okay, the baseball. There's the baseball. Looks like my ink pen is starting to slowly give up the ink. And am I, am I still on the... Yep, you can still see. Good. Okay. One loop. One loop. I guess they're curved lines, but I... I like to call them loops. Motion lines, very important. Can't see over here yet. Okay, on the bottom. One curved line, two curved lines, three. Got his wings. Oh, don't forget those motion lines over here, too. Slightly curved lines. All right, the seams of the baseball. Curved line, curved line. Notice we don't draw anything up here because the head is taking up that space. And the seams. Did you look that up? Are baseballs put together by hand or does did someone invent a machine that a ball <laughs> a sewing machine that a ball can run through? <laughs> I'd like to see it if it was. Okay, and then the feet at the bottom. Triangle shapes. Round it off a little bit with the toes. And maybe a little shadow because the body is has volume and it's hovering and the feet are back a little ways underneath the body. So a little shading or shadow right here. And just put the horizon in the background. And we can't forget our crescent moon. There we go. A baseball bat. Okay, I'm going to start erasing my pencil lines. Again, we used simple shapes to construct our mashup character, our fun baseball bat, right? <laughs> okay. And when I erase, again, I don't press down too awfully hard. If I do, you'll notice I'll crinkle the paper. <laughs> and that happens from time to time. That's okay. But I try not to. I try to press down lightly and go over the same area for a little bit longer. As opposed to really pressing down. All right, how's he doing here? Coming to life. Starting to take flight. Yes. Perfect. All right. <laughs> you like that, don't you? My little electric broom. <laughs> it just helps get the eraser crumbs off the paper, right? 
<laughs> you didn't know it was electric. Thank you, sound effect department. <laughs> there we have it. The baseball bat. Let's write that right up here. Baseball. Bat. Silly character. Go ahead. Have some fun coloring it. Put it on the refrigerator and see what your friends think and your family, right? I hope you enjoyed drawing this wacky character on mashup day. And I hope to see you again soon. Until then, take care of one another. Be safe and stay well. All right. Bye-bye.